I thank you for watching this video. This video is from interview.com. I am going to explain one of the important Java interview question is null keyword in hash map. Uh, it is allowed or not? Yes, uh, yes, uh, hash map, yes, hash map allows one null key and hash map can store null values. Any number of null values can be stored, but only one null can be stored as a key. So map won't allow duplicate, so it will be, so it will accept one null key and multiple null values. So whenever the interviewer is asking you whether null key is allowed in hash map or not, you should say one null key and multiple null values one null key and multiple null values so here i've given an example small example what happens when you when you push null values and null key okay let's see an example so that you can understand uh, i've written a small program where uh, where i am pushing null key and null value and null key and null value null key null value and null null so what happens is so using this key i'm placing null value null va null key and null value uh, 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 value null key and a value machine null and null so i just want to prove here that only one null key will be given only one null key will be given always so these values will be overwritten if you can check if uh, if you check this the contents of this hash map see we have placed first null key then null value then null key with a value null key with a value so these two values will be overwritten and finally whatever you have given that will be placed in the hash map okay so it 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 ensures that only one null key and multiple null values are allowed okay so let's see this what happened so the value will be null is equal to null then i one is equal to dot okay so this ensures that whatever you write okay after this whenever you assign some other values um, for the null key it will be overwritten it will be overwritten so null values interview machine these are the values for the null key and it has been overwritten whatever so even if you write again one more statement here this will be overwritten okay so for example here java if you write it will be overwritten so this proves that only uh, only uh, only one null key will be given and null values will be given uh, hope this video is useful for your entry preparation though it's a very small video but it's really useful for your java entry preparation if you're looking for a job opportunity within india you can submit your resume using the following link. We will do the needful to find out the right job based on your skill set. This video is from interview.com. Thank you for watching this video and all the best for your interview. Thank you.